I jumped out of war here, and today we're doing another Rate Your Doomstack video, although this also feels a little bit like a disaster battle. Um, playing as Ivress, where we've got a Sentinels of Astyral Doomstack that has Hellstorm rocket batteries. So the big thing here, and I mentioned this in the High Elf campaign livestream that I did, is that um, Eltharion is still able to regenerate the ammunition of any missile unit in the game. And the unit that he would boost the most would actually be Hellstorm rocket batteries, since they use up their ammunition really quickly and they normally can't regenerate their ammo. But break upon the walls there, giving it unending volley, that should be really good. Now we're going up against four full armies of Sylvanian vampire counts, so that's an absolute ton here. We are the attacker, so we do have the option to lightning strike, but... Um, that's not what we're here to do. We're here to test this out. So let's see if this army can really handle this much, because that is an absolute ton. Let's jump in here and see what we can do. Uh, what's this one? Um, reload skill might be... B Actually, no, it would be better on them. Because these ones here will use up their ammunition really quickly anyway, whereas the Sentinels of Astarul, they, uh, they shoot fairly slowly. Okay, let's jump in. So Sentinels of Astarul, they are a Mistwalker unit meaning that you kind of need to play as you've rest in order to get them. It is potentially possible to confederate a few of them playing as a different high elf faction, but once um, Ivress is gone, they're not going to be able to recruit any more of them. So if you're playing as a different high elf faction and you've uh, confederated Eltharion, you could always substitute the Sentinels of Astaral with Sisters of Avalorn or Lothurn Seaguard, but in terms of Lothurn Seaguard versus um, Sentinel of the Star Wars, they serve a similar role. I think they're um, spearmen and archers. The Sentinels of the Star Wars actually have one of the longest ranges out of any missile unit in the game, like uh, short, uh, small arms missile unit. Um, and also, due to their kind of slow firing rate, it really benefits Eltharion. greatly with the, um, the unending volley, because if you shoot too quickly, you'll still end up not really shooting that often once you've... Um, used up your ammo because it doesn't restore ammunition based on a percentage it restores ammo you know based on one every 25 seconds okay now this map is not great this map is not good at all um no all right yeah because where we stand is going to matter a lot uh it looks like we have to stand over here but that brings them fairly close to us yeah this map is not ideal for us at all yeah, setting up over here would be a huge mistake for the Hellstorm rocket batteries. Hellstorm rocket batteries are very terrain dependent, so this is the only real place for them to be, but being close to those reinforcements doesn't make me too happy. Alright, it might be a good idea to spread them out just a little bit, because they're going to have some flying units. Okay, well, with this you actually can get unlimited winds of magic since it doesn't actually expire. But you've got to keep your wizard in it. Alright, light wizard makes sense. Alright, now. I think if you just like set up a line right in front of them there, that could be a mistake. You want to have the Hellstorm rocket batteries. Um, have a clear line of sight where there's no chance of them uh, inflicting friendly fire. So, what I'll do is set up a checkerboard. But then rearrange it. Okay, so what we'll do is set this up. Get the heroes out of the way. And distribute them as needed around the artillery, making sure that we've got gaps in between. Gonna need to get over here to try to prevent flanking. We will obey. We will obey. Understood. As you say. Without fail. Well, it's gonna take him a few minutes to get. Well, it'll take him like one minute to get over here. We will obey. So what I'll do is I just drag him over there. Because, yeah, the formation that we do here is incredibly important. And then make sure they're all on guard mode. Alright, that Without should do it. Fail. Acknowledged. 
Okay, now. These ones here. Alright, so uh, if we pop this down as soon as possible and just leave her in around the center here. It shall I guess be you done. can stay there. Understood. For duty. I go. Okay, now if we could try to get some of their forces coming at us early, that would be good. But, okay, look, Vlad's forces are coming in really quick, so let's not worry about it. Understood. Just move back a little bit there. Okay, okay. pop this down. And the purpose of it is that that should stay there for the entire battle now. Oh, there's like no cooldown on it. Spellcaster. Oh, we got a tempest it's coming down. So that channeling spire should just be providing us with winds of magic reserve constantly throughout the battle now. Okay, here we go. All right, hellstorm rocket batteries. If you could be aiming in here, that'd be great. Oh. What? The hell? Oof, one mage. Yeah, well, I'm not actually sure how that works. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, probably should have uh, tilted the hillstorm rocket barriers a little bit over here to begin with. We got a bit of a delayed reaction there. Now, what I'm going to do with Eltharion is try to get some of their flying units to chase after us, but they might not even bother. Let's go with this. Empowered by vengeance. Playing vampire music. So redirect these guys around. This is, might get in the way if I'm not careful there. It shall be done. Forward. Quickly now. Eldarion. Obliterate them. Guided by waystones. And they got that, they got that. Shooting them down fairly quickly at the moment. Okay, let's get a net of Amatok down on Vlad. Okay, let's try to get you to keep some of these guys over here busy. Also got Tempest out of our own. Now the thing is, in order to use this army correctly, we need to use all parts of it. That's it, try to get rid of it all. And then, you got some good items on here, that's for sure. Okay, got shit coming over this side over here, I need to be ready for that. So far, so good. It's on very hard battle difficulty, so... It's doing a bit there. Let's see if Vlad is particularly high level. Alright, pop that down again. And this time, don't click it again. So, yeah, that should be within the channeling spire there. Okay, gotta keep Vlad busy, and we're gonna need to heal. Okay, need you to turn around, get rid of this black coach. You turn around, shoot that. High mage. So far, so good, I think. Noble. Yes, sir. Apart from this, but looks we like we just get back on the artillery, no problem. Resume firing. I am ever ready. Yeah, look, the channeling spire is still going. Noble. Okay, there's someone over Earth here. We need to. Hang on, we got we incoming over here. Move. Need to go sort this out. Move Give them buffs out. and whatnot. Yeah, we've also got this for magical attack. That's really handy. Ready. Hellstorm. Good. Okay, Eltharian's having a little bit of trouble. The Grim Warden rises. Just a little bit. But yeah, you can see with the Sentinels of Astaro, they really don't shoot very quickly. Okay, what have we got here? Let's pin them down. Winds of magic rise. Oh, Cancelled that. Okay, Atharian's struggling. Gotta just keep him healed. Keep those guys pinned down. The might of Everest. That's good. Get back into the, um, the channeling spire area. Okay, need to get rid of the Vargulf for that. Okay, 
registered. Elfarian can't handle much more. I, I gotta get him out of there now. Need you to hold them there. Get him out. Need any time to heal. Did a bit of damage to Vlad, but of course I didn't expect him to be able to beat Vlad outright. But yeah, we got a lot of single entities coming here that need to be dealt with. Come on, you gotta hold some of these fuckers back here. Alright, get rid of these damn Karen waves, actually. So that guy can be freed up. Yeah, you gotta love Hellstorm rocket batteries at this point in the battle. That's actually still have ammunition left. Glory matters not. Okay, keep slowing Vlad down, because once he gets in here, I really won't be able to do much about it. Empowered by vengeance! Battle awaits! Hellstorm! Acknowledged! Ready. Okay, I need you back in here, because that's where the channeling spire still is. We've also got this to slow him down again. Winds yeah, of magic nice. rise. Right. I am Keep healing. By my father's blade. Right, need you to get in here. As you say, we will obey. For duty. Okay, the wizard can't hold out that much longer. I think she just got terror routed, so she should rally again in a few moments. Loyal. I don't think it's a good idea. Come on. Come back. Oh, we've also got this. We've got War. As you say. Come on, come back. There we go. Following so we can actually get regen. Forgot about that. To the fray. Okay, now Eltharion. Oh, sorry. Vlad is right in the mix there. So that's going to be pretty annoying. Yes. Okay, here's what we do. We pin him down with just a regular... Non overcast a net of Amber talk, and then try to move out of the way. It shall be done. Okay, what happened here? Understood. Dude, come round over this way. Black powder blessed. And we got As you say. another bloody dude there. The you want to do this over here? Assurance okay, we're starting to get rid of Vlad. If we could just keep him pinned down a few more seconds, we're actually get rid of him. Damn, we got rid of him. Uh, they'll rally, they'll rally. It's okay. Acknowledge. Come on, a little bit more. And Vlad is... Sigma, Come on, rally. 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 <laughs> I don't think he's going to rally. No, it didn't rally. Okay, Vlad's emerges. gone. That's good. We will obey. Hear me. Pin these down over here. Go, Starting to get a little bit overwhelmed on this flank over this way. Asset. Okay, you guys, yeah, just shoot at the reinforcements that are coming in this way. Eltharion. Eltharion is getting very worn out. Yeah, it's got really short range. Just on wait on that. Okay, if we want, we can do this to get even more melee defense, but you got to overcast it to get the area. Avenge the fallen. Okay, get over here, take out these other lords. Okay, pull this one back, take too much damage there. Okay, this one here is in a bad formation. You guys turn around, try to focus a little bit more over here. Okay, we've got... Right, you keep them pinned down and I'll shoot at them. And I'll give you a bit of a heal so you can hold out a bit longer. The Grim Warden rises! As you say! Yeah, the Sentinels of Astar, well, they really hold for a long time, that's for sure. Ulf one mage. Orders received. Get rid of these Orders received. damn units here. Ready for another war? Yep. As you say. By now, ready. Get in here, I need to pop this ability down. Killed that lord. The noble's doing a pretty good job as well. Let's slow him down a little bit. And once again, we've got a Vargulf trying to attack the Hellstorm rocket batteries, which is clever of them. That's what they need to be doing. They need to get rid of my Hellstorm rocket batteries because it's my most dangerous unit. Yep, that one's deleted. That's good. Get rid of these corpse carts. You just keep holding them back. It will be done. 
Mage. Going. All right. She's a bit damaged, but we need more nets. Come on, put it down, put it down, quick. Oh, I think I completely failed that cast. Unless, hang on, it's going backwards. They might actually still get... Yeah, good, they got netted still. Just keep shooting. You guys shoot over here. Running out of reserves now. If I do that, it'll just reset it. The channeling... Spire should still actually be here. In the spot where I put it. Oh, man, it's only nine units left on this one. Get back on the bloody artillery and keep shooting. This one here is really struggling now. And there's the army losses. Alright, cool. Wow, for an archer army to be able to handle this much, like, that was a lot of force. And I don't think any of our units got wiped out, but you know, one of the um, the Hillstone rocket batteries did get routed. Your artillery this one here. Okay, get out of the way from that Vargulf before you get wiped out. Oh, if it takes one more casualty, it might actually get wiped. Oh, no, it's still alive. It's still alive. Just barely. But yeah, with Hellstorm Rocket Badge, you really don't want to put units all in front of them. They'll it'll obstruct their view. Up in there. And there we go. So I don't think any of the units got wiped out. But yeah, a bit of, a bit of close calls there. And the Hellstorm Rocket Batteries, they still had, you know, most of their ammo at the uh, end of the battle there. I definitely. Could have gone a little bit better, especially at the start. I didn't have these guys quite angled correctly to bombard uh, Vlad's army straight away. That's what I should have done right at the start. But I was kind of hoping to deal with the first army first, but uh, Vlad's reinforcements came in too quick. Eltharian did a great job of holding. Same thing with the Noble. And the Sentinel of the Staral is also doing a great job of holding. None of them got wiped out. Only four units, five units, took any serious damage at all. Yeah, no units got wiped out, and we can just recover a fair bit. Let them build our defenses. All right, so in rating this, how do I feel about it? This is about as good as you can get for um, Eltharian, I think. Um, short of just like putting in a hero doom stack. This is really practical. Um, it's not difficult Eltharian. to get an alliance with the Empire, uh, although you sometimes have to wait a little bit to and, and to wait for them to actually build the building for the Hillstone Rocket Batteries, but once you've got it, uh, that's no problem. They're very easy to replace. Like, if we go into Encamp Stance now... Oh, I can't. I'll have to do it with a different army. So I just recruited a new lord, whatever. We gather here. So if we go into here, we can see that Hillstorm Rocket Batteries only cost uh, 12 allegiance uh, and but they do take two turns each to recruit which is fine that's how they normally take to recruit anyway so that in Eltharian's army would be really good really really good um, Sentinels of Astaral it's not difficult to get your first army of a Sentinels of Astaral because you get a fair bit of uh, base number of them because it is a supply line limit to army uh, through Athel, Athel Tamara bonuses but then increasing it any further... Where did Vlad go? That's weird. Pretty sure I got him. Um, but yeah, getting getting like multiple armies of Sentinels of Astaral will Master require you to build multiple of these buildings here, which... You know, it'll just, it'll just take a little while to get that done. Yeah. Um, so for Eltharian's army in Uvres, this is, in my opinion, very practical. What's the hero's trait? Frugal, that's good. Uh, that extra ammunition um, just helps to give you buffer at the beginning of the battle, but obviously if you've got unlimited ammo, regenerating ammo, that's not that useful. Um, and then this one here is resistant, awesome. So you've got the, the right traits there. Um, you know, if I could give it a number, it's pretty much like 10 out of 10. Um, but we don't do numbers anymore. So in terms of practicality, I think this is very practical. Because, you know, we took out four full armies of vampire accounts, and we could still keep fighting. And also, I didn't do a perfect job of it. 
It's super strong, uh, but it's not like the easiest army to use. It does require you to actually do a bit of micro, um, but that's okay. You can't um, have every single army just be completely brainless. But I really like what he's done here with this. Um, I think Hillstorm rocket batteries are an excellent choice. They're way better than the Eagle Claw bolt throwers, uh, which he still regenerates the ammunition of those units. But these ones here, being able to just obliterate anything at a longer range um, gives them a lot more value even if you can't boost them any further via technologies or lord skills um, just the just the extra ammunition there makes all the difference because it is just straight up a better unit than eagle claw bolt throwers and sentinels of astaral are absolutely amazing uh, archer units you know with base 215 range um, a lot of missile strength but they fire quite slowly look at that one every 20 seconds just about um, that's why getting a lot of experience and increasing their reload rate is really important. So yeah, anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this in terms of ratings, uh, whether you agree or disagree. Uh, appreciate this one being sent in. Clearly a lot of effort went into it. And um, appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.